Welcome back. We've determined that in order to save the ice sphere from the frequencies, we'd need to set the switches to the correct order in which the sphere passes them. And determining that order is pretty simple. Well, I suppose you could do them one by one, go back each time and then check where it goes next. But you can also just walk along the path and follow it that way. So, the sphere comes from here. Let's drop there. I wonder what those hatches are for. Um, then it goes straight down there. So this is the first one, as we've already determined. So that means this one needs to be set to number one. Then it continues down here. This is slightly harder to see, but if you look carefully, it they make a right turn. So it goes back up here. And that then should be number two. So it goes up. Straight through the middle here. And this would then be the third one it passes. Then goes down again. Another right turn here. And that is the fourth one. Goes up, continues straight, and that then should be number five. And from there it will continue back into the building, just like we saw with the turntable tracks. I assume the one with the skills does that too, but we can't actually tell from there because we can't see the building. But it stands to reason that if these two tracks lead the, the sphere back inside, that would also happen with the third one. Let's see if I got that order correct. Wrong lever. There's actually nothing you need to do with this control panel. There isn't any controls here. Other than you can use it to tell what the buttons do. Well, if we got them right, that should be one, two, three, four, and five. Well, that looks reasonable. Let's try it out. That's one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Marvelous! And I assume it went back inside. We can't see that. We didn't see it happen, but we did see that the track goes back inside. So it must have. And that raises the third bridge. And we got another pattern as well. This one is blue around the edges. The one at the pipe is yellow and the one at the uh, turntable was green, as you might remember. But it seems that the, the bridges over there don't stay up. Must be something else we need to do to get them to stay up. But, on the positive side, we do now have enough symbols to get inside, if I'm not mistaken.
At least we can cross those three gaps. Or we should be able to. Um, let's continue on this way. Let's see where this leads. Although I have a hunch. This definitely seems to be the same bioluminescent material that's the pattern we saw on the other pillars was made of. So I guess it is natural. Just forms a curious pattern there. Oh, this leads back here. Well, isn't that nice? And we've come full circle. It means I get to attempt to navigate these stairs again. There we go. That really shouldn't be so hard, yet somehow it is. Okay, let's see. We have... Three patterns. Note the outside of these ones are red. We didn't see any red ones. So, um, I guess the order doesn't actually matter. And indeed it doesn't. So we'll just do them in the order we found them. So that's from the half pipe, the scales, the balance puzzle. The yellow one was that, and this is a green one from the turntable puzzle. And finally, the blue one that we just found from the vibration puzzle. It works! Now can we open this hatch? Uh, holy shit. There is apparently way more track inside of here. Just some random pieces that don't actually seem to connect to anything. <laughs> That's weird. Doesn't line up properly at all. So I guess that tells us what happens when the ball comes inside through those doors after it completes the circuits we just saw. It just smashes because, you see, track ends here. And... Is this an entrance or an exit? And if it's an exit, how the hell does the ball get here? Actually, I guess that's true of all the top ones. Uh, those are the hatches we saw all around. That connect to the place where the, the sphere is dropped on the outside. But how does it get there on the inside? What's all of this track on the inside good for? Maybe they're just spare pieces or something at the maintenance section. Or maybe it's important for something. Who knows? These are weird as well. Sort of cage-like structure. Interesting. Close the door. Very important. And this ladder will have to move out of the way again, because otherwise it blocks the sphere. I assume that happens when we do something here. Chair. A chair with buttons. Gen would be proud. Twenty years, Atris. Twenty long years alone. They tied me to a post. They burn their missed blinking books in front of me. They took everything I had. My wife! My two baby girls! And then, when I finally made it back to Narayan and I saw... I saw...
It would have been better if I had died. What did he see? Can't have been good. Well, I, want, I suppose we'll uh, find out eventually, once we make it to Narayan as well, if we can finish finding all three of the symbols. I do feel sorry for Savidro. I mean, holding an entire civilization hostage, not exactly a nice thing to do. Might be a slight... Uh, exaggerated reaction to the whole situation, but still, if you saw your world destroyed, were then tortured and then left alone for 20 years, I don't think you'd come out of it entirely sane either. I probably wouldn't. He didn't even have Mr. Wilson or something to talk to. Aha! What? Oh! Uh... Help! That's interesting. We're now inside the, um... Orbiter. As Savidro called it, if indeed this is the Orbiter, and I think it is. And that gives us a very nice view of all the different parts of the track. Well, that's the end with the bridges. Some kind of control panel. There's a lever below it, but that actually just takes us back down. I'll look at that later. Um, not the panel, I mean, not the lever. Let's see. So this is where we started. That's our balance puzzle the parts of the track leading to it that we could not see. There's a button here. So we get to see it again from a different angle. We see that the bridge rises but doesn't stay raised. And we could hear that the ice sphere indeed smashes once it gets back inside. Which is kind of pointless. Also notice yellow button. And this was the one where the symbol was outlined in yellow. And indeed, this one had a blue outline. What you can see as well is how this sphere is formed. It appears to be some kind of lathe that is tracing a sphere in the air. which is somehow instantly frozen. And how exactly that is achieved? Well, that's not too clear from here. Green! And indeed, that was the green. Symbol. That all matches up nicely. It's not actually something you really need to notice. But you can notice it, and it's little touches that I always appreciate. Attention to detail. But it seems to be the same story everywhere. Bridge rises, doesn't stay raised, ball sm smashes on the inside of the building. No wonder with the state of those tracks that we saw down below. I wonder. There's a button here too.
Well, I guess that's why we need the bridges raised. Right then. How can we solve that? Note, by the way, this one's red and the four uh, or three panels, sorry, that we used on this side to get to the inside had red outlines. Which I'm sure is not a coincidence. Let's take a look at this. Yellow, blue, green, red. Well, that seems pretty self-explanatory. Those are the, f the three pieces of f four. What the hell am I doing? I seem to have lost the ability to use numbers. Way to go, brain. Okay, th there are four um, pieces of the track that the sphere can be dropped on. And this, then, this mishmash of lines sort of reminds me of the mishmash of track pieces we saw on the inside. So I guess... it gets dropped somewhere. And then, when it goes inside, we can direct its root using this. Now if they need to go in order of the way the bridges are raised, then we would need to start with blue, because that one raised the first bridge, the one on the right. Let's see, that seems that, assuming this is the exit, or the, or the, or the exit of the track, the entrance of the, uh, where the ball enters the building. It gets dropped here. This represents the part it does outside and then comes inside. Let's see. Well, then second would be yellow. That was the turntable one that raised the middle bridge. And it looks like we can line it up like this. And then it does the turntable bit, or the, f the skills bit. I've clearly been recording too long. Um, let's see, that comes out here, or comes back inside here, depending on how you want to look at it. Oh, that's not right. There. Now that one still goes right, but now this continues there. Onto green. This is the bit outside. And then it smashes here, but I'm actually going to deliberately leave it like that for a second. Um, let's see if this actually represents the stuff inside, as I believe it does. We needed to start with blue. Raises, and it stays raised this time. And the ball continues onto yellow. And then finally it does the turntable, also known as green. then all three of them are raised and then drop again. And the sphere smashes. That is, of course, because I didn't do the last bit correctly. I did that because you cannot actually see the uh, whole tra uh, trajectory from the outside, from this perspective, if you do set them up all correctly, because something else happens if you do that. So now, from green, it should go straight, and then onto red. Hopefully that means the bridges will stay erased, and then reach the end. And hopefully something uh, interesting will happen once it gets there. But, I'm afraid, and this is kind of cruel for people who already know what's going to 
happen here, and I've probably been looking forward to this part. You'll have to wait until the next video.